chance to become part of something much bigger than yourself. What do you know about me? Everything. A new species is being born. Help me guide it. Shape it. Lead it. Time for the tour. You have no idea what I'd give to feel normal. You want society to accept you, but you can't even accept yourself. Should we have to hide? Tomorrow, mankind will know that mutants exist. They'll fear us, and that fear will turn to hatred. Not if we stop a war. Not if we risk our lives doing so. We have it in us to be the better man. We already are. It shall be the policy of this nation to regard any nuclear missile launched from Cuba as an attack by the Soviet Union on the United States. They're just kids. No, they were kids. You ready for this? Let's find out. The cost of freedom is always high. No one can foresee precisely what course it will take. One path we shall never choose. That is the path of surrender. Listen to me very carefully, my friend. Killing will not bring you peace. Peace was never an option. Say better next to Smith one a little bit uh, in the middle of whether or not to say it is better than X-Men 2 or not because X-Men 2 was the was the best X-Men films so it was one of the best X-Men films ever and uh, to say it's better than X-Men 2 uh, with the even with the flaws uh, it's kind of hard to say and I love my uh, and it's mostly centerpiece around Xavier Magneto and mostly Magneto because uh, he's um, really big big star of the movies, the whole thing. And uh, I love I love the fact that he had uh, the helmet in the in the movie that was near the helmet in the movie, and it shows like a their idea of what the origin of the helmet is. <laughs> That was very good. Uh, a little bit of explanation as to um, whether in X Men One there is uh, Xavier says that Magneto helped them build Cerebro, but through the whole movie of X Men First Class, you're wondering at what point did. Uh, Magneto help uh, Xavier build uh, Cerebro because we saw the prototype for Cerebro and we, which Magneto didn't build, uh, <laughs> Beast helped build it, really, and uh, it was built before even Xavier came around. Anyway, but um, so where did the actual real Cerebro uh, get built, and how? When, at what point did Magneto help help build it? Probably during the training scene at some scene that's not shown in the movie, maybe. I don't know. Because I, it ends with uh, Xavier go, and with Magneto. With Magneto going off on his, on his separate ways with, uh, what, with uh, his first mutants uh, to become the Brotherhood. Become, become part of his Brotherhood. And it's kind of hard to say. Like it's kind of like, like wait a minute. Uh, 
if they how can they get back together to make a, to create Cerebro? <laughs> then uh, obviously they created Cerebro on some off scene that we don't that they don't show us. <laughs> and what else? The Cerebro that we know. I mean, uh, the climax was great. Everything about the movie was great. Uh, I, it was like the one scene where the excellent to be meet the Hellfire Club for the first time, and uh, it's that scene. Yeah, as I said before, what happens to Darwin? And I hated that scene because they, the ex the X Men to be are just sitting on their asses, being you know, all scared and everything. It's like, wait a minute, get off of your ass and do something. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that, I guess uh, Matthew Vaughn does that in order to show that they need training, and yeah, okay, that makes sense. But still, like, sh show them uh, trying to do something and then getting their asses kicked, so the which would made it, which would have been even better, because at least they tried to do something. And then show that, and getting their ass kicked would mean that they need training better than uh, than just sitting around doing nothing. <laughs> so I definitely recommend it. Go see X Men First Class.